this is winter in Canada, and I'm pretty far up north, and this is what you see when you look out your window. I wanted to show you two books that I've been working on. One is with a friend, Peter, and the other is a client that I have. Well, not much of a client, because I don't think that... He doesn't even think the funding is going to come through. The, the money that we're going to be putting towards this book isn't coming out of his pocket. So we just decided that it would be good practice for the both of us, just a little project to work on to see if we could work on something in the future. This was even back in 2007, so it's been a while. Uh, the book is pretty nice. It's really lengthy. It's just basically, we're both graphic designers anyway. And... The idea is that this guy wanders around and he brings a sketchbook with him and he just... Basically the whole story is about the story of his sketchbook. He just wanders around and finds things that are interesting and sketches them down, writes down ideas. We take this, those pages right out of his sketchbook and put them right into the book and just ma basically made a storyline that goes along with the whole thing. We made it into a hardcover book. It's got a dust jacket on it. It looks really nice. It'll look nice when it's finished, but right now it looks a little sketchy because we bound it together just to see what it... It's... Yeah, we bound it together, so it looks like something that we just hold in our hands, basically, to get an idea of what the book will look like when it's finished. So that's what I filmed and, and uploaded. And the other one uh, that I worked with, Peter, from, from back east, it's... Uh, we had a whole different idea. It's a whole different layout. The The images are all spread out over two pages, so each page that you turn is a whole spread. Well, mostly a spread anyway, but the thing is, is that it's hard for us to put type over top of the image. So we have a space where we can put a little bit of text and then the image hopefully goes over two pages, so uh, with the nice glossy paper uh, we wanted to see if we could actually print this, if it would work out. It's mostly black, black background with white type, and I don't know if that's really going to print all that well, or whether the the type is going to uh, not come through very strong. And uh, I guess that's pretty much that. I'll just show you what it looks like anyway. I think it looks pretty nice, and I don't know how expensive it would be to print. It was a bitch to print anyway, just even just the comprehensive was, was pretty difficult, but uh, yeah, most of the reason that we get held up anyway is, is with funding. Uh, nobody really has that much money to print books anyway, but anyway, it's fun. It's good practice anyway. It's something I enjoy doing, and it doesn't really come out of my pocket, so I'll just show you what we we're working on. It's just the, the rough copy right here. Um, he did most of the writing, I did a, the illustrations, and I'll see if I can find some there put in the middle. But uh, one of the things I wanted to show you was uh, mostly just the page layout. There's no widows at the end of the paragraphs or anything. It's all set up kind of nicely. Uh, there's a hell of a lot of writing in here. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, the binding is all screwed up here because we just kind of put this together just to see what it would look like. It actually hasn't been bound yet, so it looks kind of sketchy. Now I'm going back to... We have a graphic for each chapter. Hold on a minute, it just takes a bit to find a picture. There's somebody playing the piano. These uh, illustrations are actually from a sketchbook. It's the the whole story behind the, the book anyway, not that there is much of a story, but um, it's basically just a person that travels around and he brings the sketchbook with him because he's a graphic design person and what we both learned in college is the best way to come up with ideas is to bring a sketchbook wherever you go. Even artists too, uh, they just bring a sketchbook and jot ideas down or if they see something that interests them then they Back in Arizona, there's a girl that he liked. I can understand that. She's kind of pretty. This is the second book I've been collaborating on. I was working with a guy named Peter from Eastern Canada, and I used to live there. Um, just a friend of mine. Uh, this one has a lot more images in it, and a lot less type. And the idea behind this book was that each page was supposed to be a, a full spread. 
sometimes the images were too small to be able to spread to spread out through two pages and we wanted to have a little bit more text and it's hard to put text on top of the image. So just has a black background on glossy paper. This one has to do with uh, a lot of local bands back there. And sort of like a them time sort of a book about how things were back in the day and what people did. And same idea here. Uh, sometimes the images are smaller so we can have more or less text if we wanted. And it's laid out nicely and it's lined up really straight across. This is a nice one. This is a scene from Halifax. Halifax, Nova Scotia. It's a nice night shot. Place where Peter used to live. And again, just this image is a better idea of a spread because it goes from one page to the other page and then there's just a little bit of space there for the text to sit on. And it'll look nice when it's printed anyway. We're still waiting to get the funds going on that one. So that's the other book.